Jesus. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy. If he's ready, shout hallelujah. What an awesome God we serve. He's awesome. I want you to think about ten things that he's done. Praise him. Ten things. How he brought us out. How he saved our soul. Heal our body. Heal our families. Touch our minds. Touch our homes. Protected us. Heal us. Come, come on. You think about it and praise him. Hallelujah. What an awesome God we serve. Yes. Hallelujah. As we get ready for the word, just lift up your hands to him one more time. This wonderful preacher is here to deliver the word of the Lord this morning. Worship from afar. Draw me near. Draw me near to where you are. I want where you are Dwell our dwelling place forever I know the place where you are Come on, let's sing I this be, I just want to be with you It's a simple song, it says I be with Where you are Dwelling in your presence Dwelling in your presence at your table, by your surrounded by your glory, in your presence, that's where I always want to be, I just want to be, how many just want to be in his presence, just to be in the presence of the Lord and in the fellowship of the saints? Just want to be where you are. To enter boldly in your presence. To enter boldly in your presence. I don't want to worship from Draw me near. Draw me near to where you are. Holy Spirit, we acknowledge your presence. Jesus, we acknowledge you. You are my strength and my song. And when I'm in your presence, though I'm weak, you're always strong. I just want to be where you are. Dwelling daily in your presence. Dwelling daily in your presence. Would you just worship with me? I don't want to worship from above. Draw me near to where you are. I just want to be where you are. In your dwelling place forever. In your dwelling place forever. Take me to the place. Take me to the place where you are. I just want to be worship him. I just want to be with you. The Bible said he inhabits the praises of his people. That means he is right here with us right now. I declare the Lord's presence is here. We declare his kingdom and his power and his Holy Spirit is here. The blood of Jesus is here. The power of the cross is here. The power of the Lord is here to heal, to deliver. I to set free. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a round of applause. Come on, give him worship as you continue to praise him. Those who are listening or watching, stay tuned. We have a powerful man of God. We're going to bring him on. This apostle is a true general in the faith, a man that loves the Lord. Hallelujah. The husband of one wife, the faithful father of two and many spiritual sons and daughters. Amen. His darling wife is a wonderful woman of God, a preacher, a teacher, their business people, their leaders in this nation and in this country and in this city. Amen. And they can cook up some good food. Amen. I've ate with them many times. And what a blessing and a joy it was over the many, many years. And they preach for us. We preach for them. Amen. And they are just wonderful people in the Lord. And we're so delighted. To have you better stay on and tune in quickly because we have a word from the Lord this morning. How many of you are expecting an apostolic word? Yes. A word that will change and shake. Yes. And I want to let you know these wonderful people of God like us have gone through 
trial and tribulation, but they're still here. Look at someone and say, but I'm still here. Yes. By the grace of God. Yes. And if you need an encouraging word, you better sign on. You better tune in. You better open your hearts now. Hallelujah for Apostle Dean. Hallelujah, Prophet is Dean. Uh, we're going to call him up in a minute. Hallelujah. I just feel this song. This is a wonderful song. We want to just ask the Holy Spirit to have his way as he's preparing and following this song. The next voice you will hear will be that of Apostle Talmud Steve. Hallelujah with his darling wife, Prophet is Dean today. Hallelujah. To declare what thus said the Lord in our hearing. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We're going to take just a minute or two and just lift up your heart and lift up your hearts open. Get ready to receive what the Holy Spirit is pouring out. Holy Spirit, rain down. Holy Spirit, rain down. Oh, comforter and prayer. How we need your touch again, Holy Spirit, rain down, rain down. Such a powerful, let your voice be heard, come and as we stand on your word, Holy Spirit, rain down. This is your time to tell about what you love it. Oh, 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 air has heard, no mind can know. Open and wide over your church and over our lives. Holy Spirit, divine presence his divine power that is in this house I thank him because of Jesus yes. and all that Jesus Christ have done yes. hallelujah for the saints of God not just the saints of God, but he died for the whole world. Yes. Hallelujah. He left nobody out. Mm. Hallelujah. So I just want to give God worship and glory and praise and adoration to this day. Yes. And I will not take it lightly. Amen. I just want to give God thanks. Amen. For Apostle Corley and Prophetess Corley. I thank God for both of them. What God is doing within their hearts Thanks. and within their spirit, the ministry that God has been packed, God has been downloaded into the spirit yes. to do. Yes. Thank you. And great things is happening in their lives and through their lives because I see the grace of God, Thank you, Holy hallelujah, that is upon their lives. 
Hallelujah. I want to thank God even so for this ministry. Amen. That's moving. Hallelujah. In the Spirit of God, by God's grace and God's power. Hallelujah. Just want to thank God. One more time for my lovely wife. Yes. Amen. Yes. Prophet is dead. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Woman of God. Amen. And I want to thank God for the rest of the saints of God that is in the house. God bless you. Hallelujah. Because of the grace and the mercies of God that is in on your life. Amen. This day. Yes. Hallelujah. Let's shout hallelujah, everybody. Hallelujah. Let's shout hallelujah. 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 Ah, yes, because he deserves the highest praise. I say he deserved the highest praise. Hallelujah. I say he deserved all glory. Yes. He deserved all power. Yes. Hallelujah. I say he deserved all power. Yes. He deserved to be worshipped. And I can say amen like the amen apostle John says amen. He's worthy of blessings. He's worthy of glory. He's on yes. Worthy of power, worthy of riches. Hallelujah. Worthy of honor. Hallelujah. He is the exalted king. He is the Lord God Almighty. And besides him, there is nobody else but him alone that deserve to be worshipped. Hallelujah. Because there's so many other gods around. But amen. These are the gods. They have eyes that they cannot see. Hallelujah, they have ears, but they cannot hear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, they don't have a heart of compassion because there is no heart in them. Hallelujah, but this God that we are worshiping, this God that we are serving, is full of love and full of compassion. Hallelujah, who hears our heart, who hears our cry, whose ears are open to, amen, our crying. Hallelujah, whose eyes can see us and behold, hallelujah, we are about. And like the psalmist says, amen, that there is just nothing that can hide from God. All things are naked and open to the eyes of God with whom we have to deal with every day. Hallelujah, and in Him we are living and we are moving and we have our being. And even so, you are living and you are moving. Hallelujah, you have your being because of the Almighty God, the Creator. Hallelujah. So you're able to do, you're able to speak, you're able to say the things that God wants you to say. Amen. According to his word and his will and his purpose and his plan. Hallelujah. So therefore, we will continue to worship God and give him thanks and give him praise and glory and honor and adoration. And I can say like the psalmist says, I ascribe worth, I ascribe honor, I ascribe majesty, dominion, power unto the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah, this God that we are serving, He's powerful, He's mighty, He has all power in His hand. He has power in the heavens, He has power in the earth and power under the earth. He is the Lord God, He is the governor, He is the ruler. He is everything that concerned our lives, amen. Hallelujah, so He was and He is, He is the Lord God. Hallelujah, He's just nobody else. He's able to compare to him because there is no comparison to our God. Hallelujah. None, none whatsoever. And so therefore we take this opportunity and this chance, amen, to read, amen, to get into God's word. Hallelujah. On this day. Hallelujah. And my heading today, our heading today, amen, the I am's of God. The I am of God. We're going to read in the book of St. John's chapter 8. Verse 58. I'm going to read down from verse 23. Verse 23 said, and he said unto them, ye are from beneath, I am from above, ye are of this world, I am not of this world. I said that for unto you, that you shall die in your sins, 
For if you believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. And then said they unto him, Who art thou? Jesus said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge of you. But he that sent me is true. And I speak to the world these things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he speak to them of the Father. Then said Jesus unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself. But as my Father hath taught me, and I speak these things, and he that sent me is with me, the Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. And he speak these words, many believe on him. Then Jesus, then said Jesus to those Jews, which believe on him. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest then, how sayest thou, you shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committed sin is a servant of sin, and the servant abided not in the house forever, but the son abided forever. If the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me. Because my word has no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father. And you do that which you have seen with your father. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do those works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me. A man that had told you the truth, which I've heard of God, this did not Abraham. You do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of one occasion. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself. But he sent me. Verse 47. He that is of God heareth God's word. You therefore hear them not because you are not of God. 58. Jesus said unto them. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Before Abraham I am. I said before Abraham I am. There is no beginning with God. There is no ending with God. Hallelujah. Because He is. Hallelujah. So he is. Yes. And He was always. And He will always be. Amen. Hallelujah. Because if you look into the psalmist, the Word of God said. Amen. Hallelujah. He is a king. Above all kings. He is the Lord. Above all lords. Hallelujah. He is the eternal God. Amen. And his kingdom. Is an eternal kingdom. Hallelujah. I say he is everything. Hallelujah. That you want him to be today. Amen. Hallelujah. I say you want him to be a deliverer to you. Hallelujah. He will be that to you today. Yes, yes. If you want him to be, hallelujah, heal in your body, he can heal 
because he's a very present help now to heal you. He's sent his word and he will heal your diseases. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever he, you want him to be, he will be that. Amen. Because we are God's creation. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. So you and I are God's creation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But these individuals, so they knew the scriptures. Amen. And they could not handle the living word of God that came right before them. Because if they knew the scripture, they would not speak the way they spoke to him. My God. Hallelujah. I say they could not understand because the spirit of God, the truth of God was not inside of them. Hallelujah. This is the part that I really love concerning what Jesus spoke to them. He says, hallelujah. He says, you will know the truth. My God. And the truth will what? Set you free. Set you free. But he says, for you to be able to do that, he says, you've got to continue my word. Yeah. That's right. Hallelujah. Because if you don't continue my word, there's no way that you're going to experience my power that's inside of my word. To liberate you, to set you free. Right. They could not receive it because they were, what they were doing, they were fulfilling the lies. Hallelujah of their father. This is not God, but it was the devil. Hallelujah that was speaking to their hearts, speaking to their spirit. Because if they were of the truth of God, they would hear Jesus. Amen. My Jesus God. spoke to the disciples and says, if you're going to be free, you're going to have to take up, you're going to have to follow me. Hallelujah. said, you're going to have to follow me. Hallelujah. He spoke to Peter and he says, if you're going to follow me, you're going to have to deny yourself. Hallelujah. said, when you begin to deny yourself, hallelujah, of you who's in charge of your life, self is in the true room of your heart. Hallelujah. But if you continue in the word of God, we will experience who Jesus is. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. said, we will experience who he is. And that's what he was telling those religious folks. Hallelujah. And so it is today. God is speaking to some religious folks today. Those that do not have hallelujah, the spirit of God inside of their lives. Hallelujah. He's speaking to you today. That if you believe the, this word today, you will experience who he is today. Hallelujah. You will experience the great I am who was and who is, who is and who is coming. You will experience the might of God inside of your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Each and every one of us that call upon the name of Jesus. We can testify about the grace of God. We can testify about the power of God. We can testify about the great I, the great I am that is inside of our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. And going back, Jesus carried a mind back. Hallelujah to the scriptures. He said, before Abraham was, I am. That's right, that's right. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, before Abraham or any one of the patriarchs was around, he was always there. That's right. Hallelujah. And then there's a story also that Moses experienced God. Hallelujah. And Moses wanted to know who is this when I go in the midst of the, the Egyptians. Whom shall I say sent me? Hallelujah. God had to let him know that I am, that I am sent you. Amen. Hallelujah. And so it is today. You only can go according to the word of the living God. We don't know anything else. We ought not to know nothing else but to know that the great I am is with us. Hallelujah. Then he said to us, I will never leave you. He said to you and I, he says, I am with you. The great I am, he says, I will be with you. Even to the ends of the world, I am going to be with you. Right. So no matter what we, what we go through, uh -huh. no matter what we have faced, the great I am is there with us. Hallelujah. So he tell Moses, tell them, I am who I am. That's right. Hallelujah. I am the one that sent you. And that means that God will be everything to him. Hallelujah. Where the Moses needed to be delivered, the I am was there with him. Hallelujah. Where he needed a miracle, the I am was there with him. Where he needed a supernatural working of God, the I am, the I am was right there with Moses. Didn't he reveal his power? Hallelujah. Say, didn't he reveal his power when 
not even God when Moses spoke to Pharaoh till Pharaoh that I am said let my people go yes. and didn't he hallelujah didn't God stretch forth didn't God show his mighty power yes. hallelujah the tear of God the I am was there in the midst of them hallelujah so numerous miracles so numerous uh, signs and wonders took place right there in Asia until now today is a talk all along in any other religion today they heard about this great I am hallelujah there is no man that is able to open up the ocean cause the ocean to congeal on both sides yes. cause the turn of Israel to walk on on dirt dry ground Amen. walk in the bottom of the ocean That's only right. the great I am can do that right. hallelujah say there is no other rock today no other God did even so now there is no other God that is able to do what the great I am have done. That's right. He left himself without a witness. My he God. left himself, hallelujah. He Woo. left his name. Yes. Hallelujah. I say he left his power. And every nation today, every religion today, if they want to be honest, they can talk about the great I am. Right. Hallelujah. All the disease that happened there in Egypt, the great I am have done it. Hallelujah. So Moses had no fear at all. You know why? Because the great I am was there. The book of Revelation tells us, hallelujah. He says, I am what? Alpha and I am what? The Omega. Yeah. Meaning that he is the beginning and he is the end. And there is none before me and there will be none after me. Hallelujah. This is why we need to continue to serve this great God that we have came into relationship. Hallelujah. The great I am is inside of you. Amen. The great I am is inside of you. The great I am is in you today. You say, preacher, how do you know that? Then the book of Colossians said to us, hallelujah, that we were in the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. We had our taskmaster over our lives even so. Hallelujah. His name is Lucifer. Hallelujah, the prince of the power of this air. Hallelujah, that was inside of our lives, governing our lives. But one that was greater than him, the I am king. Hallelujah, and paid the price for us. Yes. Hallelujah, so he paid the price for us. Yes. This is why we can say that he is the great I am in our lives. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Because guess what? The I, the I am. Hallelujah, no other man was able to die for our sin. But the I am came and died. Hallelujah. Say the I am came and died in our place. Yes. Because we owe a debt that we could not pay. Yes, that's Hallelujah. Right. But Christ Jesus Christ came. Hallelujah. And died in our place. Yes. Hallelujah. Because we were all our lifetime subject to bondage. We were all our lifetime in fear. Hallelujah. But the great I am came and paid the price for our lives. Hallelujah. And I can say like Apostle Paul said, Hallelujah, deliver unto you that which I receive. That Christ Jesus came to this earth and died. Hallelujah, not only died, but God raised him from the dead. Yes. And he now ascended back on high. Yes. Hallelujah, that's one of the reasons why the religious folks could not understand him. Hallelujah, because they do not know the word of God. They do not know the power of God. Hallelujah, what the power of God is able to do within their lives. But you and I can testify about Hallelujah, the great I am yes. that is inside yes. of our lives. Yes. The great I am said when he was on this earth, he says, I am from above, but you are from beneath. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. I say yes. this great I am is from above. Yes. Hallelujah. Not from this earth, but he came. The one of the reasons that he came for you and I know what God says. Hallelujah. That we were sinners. Hallelujah. Yes. Not because of what you've done. Hallelujah. But because of what we have inherited or that we have received. Hallelujah. That's what makes you and I. Hallelujah. But oh Christ a sinner. Not because of what you've done, not what you're doing. Hallelujah. Because you're a sinner by nature. And only the great I am is able to amen change that. In the book of Colossians, it says to us, Amen, that he delivers out of the kingdom of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his what? His dear son. Hallelujah. shows and tells us there is two kingdoms. The kingdom of darkness, yes, that's where we were. This is why we can testify today that we were in two kingdoms. 
Hallelujah. But you are in one kingdom, but you're still in that kingdom of, of darkness. Hallelujah. Say so you're in the kingdom of darkness. We are here to let you know the great I am is here today. He's here today to do what? To deliver you from the kingdom of darkness and bring you into the kingdom of his dear son. Yes. Where you can experience the might of God. Where you can experience the deliverance of God. Where you can experience the healing power of the almighty God. How is it you come to that place and accept what Jesus Christ has done for you yes. on the cross of Calvary? Then the word of God says in the book of Timothy, great is the mystery of God. It is God was manifest in the flesh. Seeing no man preach on into the world, receive up in the heavens. I do. This is the one that we are declaring to you today that he is the great I am. Yes, yes, yes. And the great I am wants to come into your life and change you. The great I am wants to heal your body. I said, the great I am wants to give you a miracle. I say, do you believe that today? If you believe that today, receive it. Yes. Believe it, walk in and yes. receive it into your spirit. Yes. Yes. And I'll tell you today, the great I am will come and deliver you from the bondage of sin that you are in. Yes. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Yes. This yes. great yes. I am yes. Yes. is from above. My God. This is something that be talking out of our head. There are too much of us. In different places. How is that so? <laughs> you name it. People right where you are. In Africa. and Jamaica. Haiti. Amen. All around the world. I like to say the four corners of the third. Wherever you are. We are calling upon the same one name. How does Jesus. that? Jesus. Because the great I am can do what he got to do. Yes. Hallelujah. When he speak to us, the word of God tells us that he's the father spirit. And our spirit becomes subject to him. That's right. Hallelujah. Wherever you may be today, the great I am is right there with you. Oh my God. I said the great I am, I am is with you. Look up about you then. In the same sky that you see there in the four corners of the earth, the same holy sky that we're looking up today here in Freeport, Grand Bahama. Hallelujah. So how much more God? God is the one who created. God is the one who hang the heavens like a curtain, laid the foundation of the earth. The same earth you're on, we are on here. Hallelujah. No changing. Hallelujah. It's the same. And so it is with this great I am that we are serving. Hallelujah. Let me tell Abraham. Hallelujah. I am God Almighty. Hmm? He is Almighty God. Hallelujah. He's the greatest one there is. Amen. He has, like we said earlier, Hallelujah. The great I am. Hallelujah. He came and let us know when he came in a legal way. When he ascended before he ascended back, hallelujah, he tell those boys. He says, all power has been given to me in heaven and in earth. Hallelujah. And therefore they are able to go forth because all power is in his hand. Hallelujah. His power is with us. Those boys, they experienced the amen that Jesus spoke the truth. Hallelujah. They experienced their healing. They experienced their deliverance. Hallelujah. A time before them, they were afraid. Hallelujah. But when they experienced the power of God coming and changing, coming into their lives and changing them. Hallelujah. So they experienced the power of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. They went forth without fear, without doubt, knowing that the great I am say, I am going to be with you even unto the ends of the world. And so it is we're saying, Hallelujah. Saints of God, man of God, woman of God, the great I am is with you today. So don't give up. Don't give in. In John chapter 18, verse 5. What it, does it say? 18, verse 5. Come on, scholars. They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. I am he. Didn't Jesus say that? I am he. <laughs> huh? I am the light. I am I come that you may have light. 
So if you're blind today physically, the I am is there with you. Yes. Believe that. Amen. If you're blind spiritually, the I am is still there. Amen. To give you a light. To give you sight. Because Jehovah El is the one that created everything about you and I. And then the word of God tells us in the book of Psalms 137. I am fearfully and I am wonderfully made. And my soul know it right well. Your soul can tell you that the I am have created you. Hallelujah. So the great I am is saying, open your heart. Open your eyes. Believe and receive into your spirit because I am here today for you. Isaiah chapter 51 verse 12. Scholars read that for me. Isaiah 51. And so there may be a times that you are being discomforted. Hallelujah. I say there are times that you may be discomforted. There's nobody around you. Neither on the left nor on the right. But the great I am is saying to you today. The scripture tells us amen. He's the God of consolation. He's able to comfort those that need to be comforted. Hallelujah. Read for me. Hallelujah. 51 I, and verse 12. I, even I am he that cometh. That, that comforted you. I, even I, I am the one that will comfort you. Yes. Who art thou that thou shouldest be afraid? So there's no need for you to be afraid. Amen. Because the I am is there to comfort you. Amen. Of a man that shall die, and of the son of man which shall be made as grass. You see, so the I am is saying that I am there for you. And whereby you can be comforted. Yes. Hallelujah. Then the I am in St. John chapter 10 verse 9. What does it say? Because there are so many people today that are going to other doors. They're trying to find a way to the kingdom of God. Amen. When there is no other way to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. There is no other way that we can enter into the kingdom of God. What does it say? I am the door. I am the door. By me, if any man enter. By me, if any other man or any man try to enter, they are what? He shall be saved. He shall be saved. And shall go in and out. And shall go in and, and out. Who spoke that? Jesus. Jesus says, I am the door. Yes. And, find and he's looking at himself. He's looking at a shepherd. Guiding the door of the sheep. Amen. Hallelujah. And so those sheep has to go to the door of the shepherd. That's right. And so Jesus is saying, I am to the ways of God. Yes. The only way that you can get in, you've got to come through this door here. Yes. My God. So that's why he can say today that he is the door mm -hmm. into the presence of God. Because I am the one that came from above. I came for a reason. I came to seek and to save individuals of that are lost. Yes. So he is the door back to the Father. Amen. And that's why he can say, I am yes. the way. Yes. The way. I am the truth. Yes. I am the life. Yes. No other door, no other truth, no other ways. Hallelujah, no other life. I am everything. No man can come to the Father except they come through me. That's right. So religious folks, you can believe whatever you want to believe. <laughs> I said you can believe whatever you want to believe. You can say whatever you want to say. But if you're not having this prescription for your soul, you're lost. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's God's prescription for man, not not just the rich, the poor, all man. Yes, all man. God's will, the great I am will, that none be, be lost, but yes. all will be saved. Will be saved. Hallelujah. So you got to come to the door. You got to come to the shepherd. You got to come to the truth. And because you got to come to the way, you got to come to the life, and that is Jesus. Hallelujah. He's God's prescription for your soul today. But if you stay in your sin, he says you will die in your sin. You said that you can see. He says that I am saying I cannot do nothing for you because you are remaining in your sin. You become the slave to your sin. When I am the one that came to take away your sin. 
Amen. That I am the one that came to bear your sin. That I am the one that came to deliver you from the bondage and the struggles that the enemy has you in. Amen. I am the good shepherd. I am the bread of life. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, so I am everything. Yes. I am the Lord. According to the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 5. I am, and there is no other. Right. I am the one who heals. I am the one that makes all things new. Yes. Hallelujah. I am the one that does it all. There is nobody else other than me that is able to make you whole. That no is like the song, Psalm says, We can wash away my sin. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And so the great I am, hallelujah, he says, I am the God of all what? Flesh. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Now, we should be glad to be serving this God who is the God of all flesh. You can, can you imagine the billions of people that is on planet earth and those Amen. that have left earth? You put them together, saints of God, there's no hallelujah. There it seems there will be no place for them to be. Amen. But I am can Amen. find a place. Yes. Because one time this land was a whole one land mass. Amen. The great I am will do it. If you have to speak it into being or bring it from the bottom of the ocean, cause it to stand on the waters. Amen. Hallelujah. So this is why we can serve this God who is the great I am of all, all flesh. Our flesh ought to be what? Subject to Him. Amen. You are bigoty. You are boastful. The rule is coming. Yes. I like to use the term the rat man is coming then. <laughs> your bill paid. You, you, you show your bill paid. Amen. Because the word of God tells us again, Proverbs, there's a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof is what? Death. 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 And you can go into that way. Or you can come to Jesus, the I am who have tasted death for all mankind. Man baby bo I say he have tasted death for all mankind. Uh, and this is why he said the book of Hebrews is appointed unto man wants to what? To die, and after that is the judgment. There's no other person, there's no more remission of sin. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ offered himself once and forever. The I am have done it for you and I. So you and I will not die in our sin, but we will have the, the life of God inside of us. Amen. Friends, let me tell you also, amen. Jesus said, if you believe that he is he, he hallelujah, you will have life. But if you don't believe, you're condemned already. Right. And the wrath of God is already on you. Amen. It's only a matter of time. Right. Hallelujah. Said, it's only a matter of time that I am. He's speaking today. Honey, whatever your situation, whatever your position is today, we say to you, turn to the I am. Hallelujah. He's the God, like I said earlier, he's the God that divided the Red Sea. Shouldn't we stand in awe of him? The children of Israel, amen. Hallelujah. God wanted to show him something mighty to the children of Israel. He tell Moses, bring these, bring these people at the foot of the mountain. And when they got to the foot of the mountain, hallelujah, they begin to hear the quickening, they begin to see the thundering, they begin to see the lightning. They got afraid. God put terror with inside of their lives until they turned to the man of God said, Moses, we, want, we don't want to hear him. We want to hear you. Amen. Uh, so you got to be afraid. You got to fear. I am Ali, who is a God of all flesh. Hallelujah. This is why we need to constantly bow before this God. Hallelujah. We sing that we cannot, how can we serve a God that we cannot see? But I thank God for the I am that made it possible for us to be able to serve him, to be able to worship him. Hallelujah. To be able to experience him. That's the inner witness that he has given to us today. And this is why we are able to stand to know and let you know today. Hallelujah. Because we have a personal relationship with the great I am. Yes. Because we can talk about the great I am and what he has done for our lives. Yes. We were lost in our sin. But the great I am came and saved our soul. The great I am, we can talk about that he is the healer. He healed our body. We can talk about him when we were in need of comfort. He comforted us. When we needed a miracle, he gives us a miracle. Oh, yeah. I, because we experienced the great 
I am in our soul. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. And so Amen. therefore, yeah. you are thinking about going back from God. He said to come back to him because the great I am is there with you to comfort your soul. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And we bind the spirit of procrastination over your life. Yes, right the spirit of unforgiveness, we bind it in the right name of Jesus. Yes, right the spirit of oppression and depression, we bind it in the name of Jesus. Jesus right and the great I am is right there right now to heal you, to deliver you, and to set you free to meet your every need today. Do you believe that? Amen. Amen. The great I am will cause us to profit. The great I am watches over us. Didn't he give us power to get wealth? Hallelujah, he's doing it in our lives. It's nothing about us, but it's everything in him. And the scripture says in the book of Colossians, in Christ dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul prayed for the, the Colossian saints. That God would knit their hearts together in love to the full assurance of understanding and to the full riches of the mystery of God and the I am. Hallelujah. I say that times that we cannot explain it in our own words, but we're going to have to look into the word of God and accept what the word of God is, is saying to us, the great I am, as he is, as he was, even so now today. The great I am had to limit himself because the great I am could not come, amen, himself. Because there's no way in this earth this realm can be able to hold him. But he come in a legal way like man. Amen. He became flesh and blood like you and I to experience what you're going through. The I am. Hallelujah, the God who is and who was. He experienced what you're going through. He experienced what a baby goes through. He experienced what a little child goes through. He experienced what a young man, a young girl goes through. Hallelujah. And comes all the way to manhood or to adulthood. He experienced exactly what man are going through. Then the word of God tells us, amen, that he's touched by the feelings of our infirmities. He knows exactly what you and I are going through. And this is why we need to cast ourselves on the great I am. Hallelujah. Not even some things of God, people, back then, even in the time of Smith Vegas Worth, they can talk about when they were dead. Not even they experienced and they believed the word of God. Yeah. When Jesus said that I am the resurrection and I am life. I yeah. said he's life. Yes, he is. And if you believe that today, yes, life is here right now. My God. Hallelujah for you to experience. You may be dead in certain areas in your life. The resurrector is right there with you. The I am, the great I am is there with you. I'll leave for you to experience right life. And then he says, I am the root. Hallelujah. And what? The offspring of what? David. I am the son of God. Then he said that. Then he said that I am your what? Salvation. I am the only savior. There is no other savior, hallelujah, but me, me alone, he says, I am alone. He says, I am your shield, I am your buckler, hallelujah, I am mighty, I am always there for you, hallelujah, I say, I am always, do you believe? Let's, let's look at this, saints of God. Let me look at the divinity of God, the names of God. Hallelujah. In the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 15, read that for me. Okay, you don't have it. 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 15 says, Which in times he shall show who is the blessed and only potentate, king of kings. And Lord of Lords. Revelation chapter 1. Verse 5. From Jesus Christ. Who is the faithful witness. And the first begotten of the dead. And to the prince of the earth. And to him that loved us. And washed us from our sin. In his own blood. 
Revelation chapter 17 verse 14. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of lords, and he is King of kings. Hallelujah. And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. Revelation chapter 19 verse 16. And he had on his vesture and on his tire name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. He is the great I am. Hallelujah. He is our soon coming king. He is of God. This is why we need to continue to give God the wisdom. This is why we need to continue to give God the glory. Because he's everything in our lives. He, he has done it all. Look at the things of God. Amen. Even the devil believed okay. who he was. Yes. Amen. But human beings today were made in the image and the likeness of God. Some of them don't believe. But I can show you in the scripture the devil believed who he was. <laughs> Go on to Matthew chapter 8 verse 29. Behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus? Thou Son of God, are you come hither to torment us before our time? Even the demon that was in this man, they know. Jesus, who he was. Amen. Do you come here to destroy us before our time? They know they have a time. Mm -hmm. Woman of God. That's right. They know that they have a time. And they know they recognize that he is that I am. <laughs> they know that he is the maker of their lives. Yes, they, do. <laughs> yeah, huh? they know. That they came from him. They know who their master is. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And that's why in one, in one part it says, mm, we're going to do something. Maybe put us into the water or the river. Cast us out there. They know. They fear him. They saw him. They look into the realm of the spirit. So this is why when I look at you, I don't see you as just being flesh and blood here. But you're more than flesh and blood. Hallelujah. Your spirit. Your spirit is, is connected to the great I am. Hallelujah. You're, you're in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. You can do the things that God said you, you and I can do. We can yes. say the things that God would have us to say. Yes. And that is according to his word yes. today. Right. Hallelujah. Because we are connected to him. And then the word of God tells us, amen, that we are heirs of God and joint heir with Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. I said we are connected to him. This is why we're able to do and say the things that we can say because we are not our own. Then the word of God says that I am brought us with a price, amen. Not with silver and with gold, but hallelujah, with his precious blood. It's going to use the term our DNA is connected to him. He gave us a blood transfusion. Amen. They connected to him. Yes, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Even though we are here in this world, like he says, we are in the world, but we are not of it. We are from above. Then the word of God tells us that he, he is the one that quicken us. Then the word of God tells us that he raised us up. Raised us where? In heavenly places. In Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We are being raised up. Our feet is on solid ground. Our position is in the same level with Jesus. Because we believe him. Then Jesus says, blessed are those that haven't seen but yet believe my word. Yes. <laughs> we connect him. Amen. And so if the devils believe who are not flesh and blood like you and I. How much more we should. 
Amen. Because they know into eternity. They know about the invisible world. <laughs> so we should believe also. Yes. Yeah, this ain't no game. This ain't no joke. This is real. 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 Mark chapter 1 verse 24 saying, Let us alone. Mark, what have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? And thou come to destroy us. I know thee. They say, We know you. We know you. <laughs> we know you. Mm, we know you. Yes. These people on here who we are taking control of, they don't know you. We know you. <laughs> huh? So therefore, this is why this is why what we believe we need to continue to trust forward. Because they know and they're scared of us because of our relationship with him already. Yes. They're afraid. Mm -hmm. This is why we need to constantly be in the realm of the spirit. Every day. Not yes. just one day, two days, three days, but every day we yes. are to be in the presence of God. Yes. And let me come out and uh, those demons would say the same thing. We know who you are. Didn't mm -hmm. was done. Amen. When the seven sons of Sceva was trying to de deliver this man. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, Jesus, we know Paul. We know who you are. Amen. <laughs> they know us. Amen. They know who's trifling. Amen. They know who playing games. They know who they possess. They know who they have. And so they stand in awe, they stand afar and see us. Then the word of God says to intend that the manifold wisdom of him would be made known to all principalities and powers. Amen. He will, he will do it to us. Because we are his. We are his. That's why the greater I am have destroyed the works of the devil. Yes. Amen. Turn around and give us the authority over them. He says we will tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy because I am with you. Then he says where two or three are gathered together, I am in the midst of you. You just need to join together. Believe God and it will happen. It will take place. Then the word of God tells us in the book of Psalms 37, as we delight ourselves in him, as we commit our ways unto him, hallelujah, he will give us what? The size of our heart. Because the great I am is inside of us. The great I am is the one that wicked in us and how you born to will unto what? To do of his what? Good pleasure. The pleasures of God will be wrought through our lives. The apostles, they knew that. They gained the full insight of the things of God and the power. Hallelujah. When the power of God came upon their lives, there was a change that took place in their lives. And I can imagine, hallelujah, not only imagine, but I can feel what they experienced when the power of God fell upon their lives. And we had an opportunity, amen, to be in the land of Israel, hallelujah, especially in the place where they call the upper room. Hallelujah. The sisters then began to become all excited. The word of God came alive inside of them. They began to sing their song. They were on, on, in an upper chamber. They were Amen. all in one word. A call. The Holy Ghost descending. Yes. And they began to rejoice and they began to praise and begin. Thought the yes. Holy Ghost was coming back now again. <laughs> because they were right there. Amen. The filling. <laughs> filling in the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. They were so excited, they were jubilant, high, jubilant in their spirit joy that overflowed their lives. Amen. Everything came alive to their lives. And they see it. The scripture talk about it. And here we are in the right here. My God. It came alive to them. Awesome experience. The awesomeness of God is really happened. Whatever the scripture tells us about, it is true. There is a land of Israel. There are people that are there. They no miss Jesus. They no miss the great I am. Is not a miss. He's real. Yes, he's real. Like I said earlier, men of God, women of God, all over the four corners of this earth can talk about it. Yes. And when we come together, when we join together, things of God that can be a hallelujah time. Amen. Monday will shot on a Monday. Glory. I say there's gonna be a jubilant time that will take place. Things of God. Amen. But continue to develop that relationship with him. Because he's your master. He's your savior. He's your deliverer. He's everything. He's your healer. 
higher, the great I am, is there with you, for you. Hallelujah. So no matter what it takes. And so therefore the unclean spirit in Mark chapter 3 verse 11 says unclean spirit. When they saw him, they fell down before him and cried, saying, Thou art the Son of God. Luke chapter 4 verse 41. And there was also came out of many crying out and saying, Thou art the Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuking them, suffered them not to speak. For they knew that he was what? Christ. They knew that he was I am. And as the Spirit of God, as the demon, came, unclean spirit came out of these people, I really confess that he is the Son of God. Hallelujah. Said, Those demons speak. Hallelujah. They came out. These invisible beings, these are aliens, these are forces. These are wicked spirits, unclean spirit that came out of these individuals. And they cry, Jesus, you are the Son of God. <laughs> then, the, then the Apostle Peter said the same thing in the book of Philippines. Every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. It's coming, saints of God. It will mean, it, it's going to be made known on this earth and it's going to be made known in the spirit of the world. All it is going to be made known under the earth. Don't let them tell you that when you die, you're done. No, 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 no. You're annihilated. That's a lie. Hallelujah, you just live on. Hallelujah, <laughs> didn't I say to you that he said, Hallelujah, I am the living Christ who was dead and is alive forevermore. You know what that means? He has the authority of, hallelujah, of the living and he has authority over those that are dead. He's not hallelujah. talking about any physical dead. Hallelujah, he's talking about those, amen, that are spirit. He's in charge. He's the Lord of the Dam. And he controls. Then we said earlier that he, all things that are created, whether visible or invisible, he's the Lord of it. Hallelujah. Yes. They all have to come to him. Yes. The scripture tells us, amen, oh, the depth of the riches of God, of the knowledge and the wisdom of God, and his ways are past finding out. Hallelujah. So I just want to thank God today for this word today. That I am is there with you today. Amen. Whatever you want the great I am to be to you today, he will be that to you. All you need to do is believe because he's knocking at your heart. If you're not saved today, the I am is knocking at your heart door. And he's saying, let me in. You must believe and know that I am the one that died for you. You must believe and know that I paid the price for your Hallelujah for you. Hallelujah. You must believe and know that I'm able to save you. You must believe and know that he has forgiven you already. But you're going to have to come into co cooperation with God and believe what the word of God tells you today. Your soul shall be saved and not, hallelujah, you will not die. You pass from death and you will pass unto life. You believe that today. You experience the living God. You experience the great I am in your life today. Hallelujah. So we say to you, open your heart now, confess him because he's right there with you today. He's not far away from you today, but he's right there, right now, if you call upon his name. Then the word of God tells me, tells us, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord God shall be what? Saved. I say, if you call upon his name today, you shall be delivered. If you call upon the name of the Lord God, you shall be healed in your body today. Hallelujah, strain every muscle, strain every nerve inside of you and believe and accept this word of God into your soul and into your spirit today. Hallelujah, say right now is open. Right now we say to you, it's time to turn your life today unto the Lord God. Hallelujah, and what can wash away your sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make you whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. The great I am will bring you out. But you got to believe it today. Amen. If you believe it today, come yes. to Him. Surrender your all to Him. Yes. You got great needs in your life. Amen. The Word of God said to us, Amen. He is touched by what you're faced with, what you're going through. Yes, We're saying to you, cast it on Him. Yes. Hallelujah. When you cast it upon Him, don't look back. Hallelujah. But believe it today. Hallelujah. As you receive today in His name, receive it today in your spirit. In your soul today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Be made whole, be delivered, be free in Jesus' name. And I give God thanks. I give God praise and glory. 
in the name of Jesus. Father God, today we thank you because of the life of you. We thank you because of the might of you, God, that are here today. Yes. And everybody that is under the sound of our voices, oh God, today. Amen. We pray, God, today that you will meet them right at the point of their needs. Yes, Lord. Change them, save them, deliver them, release them. Yes. From the powers and the dominion of the devil this day. Raise them up, Father God. Raise them yes. up, mighty God, to carry forth the mighty working and power of you within their lives. In the name of Jesus. We believe you, God, that you're ready to destroy the works of the devil this day. Be cancel every diabolical assignment of the enemy over your life. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every invincible impossibility be destroyed this day over your life today. In Jesus' name. Be free and receive it today in the mighty name of Jesus. We say to you, be free, be liberated, be hallelujah, be saved. Receive yes. the blessings, receive the forgiveness of God in your life today. And Father God, we just worship Amen. you and thank you today. Yes, yes. Hallelujah, because we realize and know that you're still a miracle hallelujah. God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name, we bind the strong man over your life. Yes, right we break the strongholds over your life right on, now in right Jesus' on. name. We break it. We break the principalities and powers. Break. In the name of Jesus. Father God, you're the one that is able to save. Save them. Amen. God, you're the one that is able to deliver. Deliver them. Father God, you're the one that is able to raise them. Raise them up, Father God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. Because we believe your word. And we accept it today, Father God. Because yes. when we bind on earth, Father God, you have already bound it today. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. May the power and authority God you have given to us. They are now be released. In Jesus' name. Be released. Be free. Be healed. Receive it today. In Jesus' name. And Father God, we will give you the worship. We will give you the glory, God, for your mighty hands and because of your mighty power. God that is in this place. Mighty God, bless each and every one of your people, God, that are here. Bless them that are coming through these doors of God right now. Bless them. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Meet their every knees, oh God, we pray. In the name of Jesus. And we will continue to worship you. We will continue to give you the praise and we will continue to give you the glory. Because you deserve all glory and all God and the woman of God in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Bless them. They're going out and they're coming in. They're lying down and they're uprising. In Jesus' name. Let's shout hallelujah, everybody. Hallelujah. Let's shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's shout hallelujah to the King of Kings of the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. My God. Let's welcome Amen, our apostle. Amen. Call in Jesus' name. Amen. I will clap those sanctified hands unto the Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, let's praise the Lord. I said, let's praise the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. What an awesome word from the Lord. Amen. Come on, let's bless the Lord for this mighty man of God, Apostle Talmud Dean, and his darling wife, Prophet Dean, this morning. Come on, let's bless the Lord for this morning. Hallelujah. telling you we live in a time where you don't hear sound doctrine and sound teaching like that. I thank the Lord yes. for such a sound preaching, yes, sound you. doctrine, sound word, sound ministry, mm -hmm. clear that everyone who hears it is the power of the gospel. Yes. Hallelujah. If you, Amen. If you weren't transformed from that, I, from that, I don't know what will. Amen? Amen. It's the purest doctrine. It's the purest of the Hallelujah. teaching of Christ and who he is. Amen. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands toward this mighty man of God as we pray. And thank the Lord for his ministry. Let's pray strength back into him and his darling wife as they continue the mighty work of the Lord. Father, we thank you for your son and your daughter and their beautiful family and their wonderful ministry. Hallelujah. Firstborn of deliverance. Hallelujah. We thank you for their life. I pray a strength upon them. I pray an outpouring back upon them. I pray a release of your blessing upon them. We thank you for breaking every attack, every discouragement and despair from over them. But giving them hope and giving them that eternal hope that they will continue to go forth in the mighty name of Jesus to declare this gospel to the world, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I thank you for their eternal reward. 
and that they have already accumulated and they will continue to grow in in Jesus name for the glory of the Lord amen praise the Lord we just love this family amen they're such a family to us and I tell you amen if you get a chance to go by their shop go to that stall there in the farmer's market up here amen the best fruits and vegetables. How many know about that? Amen. Amen. You know, y'all continue to patronize this woman Amen. of God and man Amen. of God. Thank I have to come there and get my cane and coconut and some Amen. other things. Amen. The precious fruit. Amen. Amen. Beyond that, they have some beautiful items. And Pastor, I sent you a message. Hallelujah. While you're getting your offering, and we're going to take some of those nice Bahama items. Hallelujah to the Southern Africa. Amen. You yeah. got my message, Apostle. Yeah. yeah. Amen. So I want you all to help me with that. Yes. Get a good gift, amen? Get a really good gift. Let's amen. bless this man of God, amen. amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's get that gift first. If you have your tithe and offering, amen, just put your tithe in one envelope. Hallelujah. I want you to get a special offering, amen? See, special offering. Special offering. Now I'm going to stretch us today. Can I stretch us today? Now let's stretch us today. I'm going to stretch you and I today. What am I going to stretch you today? This man, a woman of God, came here to bless us with the word. Amen. They are true people of God. Amen. Amen. And as you sow into their life, listen here. There's no gimmick. You're going to get a breakthrough. Amen. Amen. I want you to get in your right hand your tithe and offering. And I want you to get in your left hand. Hallelujah. A very good gift for this man of God and this woman of God today. Amen. So what is that again? Your right hand, what you're going to have? Tithes and offering. Pass that and pay tithes and offering. Well, I'm not going to get in that argument. Amen. Hallelujah. I know what it does for me. Amen. I know what. Hey, hallelujah. If government could charge us 12% back, why we can't give God 10%? Amen. Amen. You want to give government more than you give Jesus? Hallelujah. I want you to take that. If government charging you 12%, if NIB is t almost 10%, amen? How much is that already? Well, you all need to hear me. <laughs> to bring a guy in is 55%. Oh, glory to God. We don't have no problem then. Government 15 to 55% on a vehicle. Amen. Oh, God, help me. Now, we got this duty concession before that. Furniture was how much? 45% profitus. Come on, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let me teach y'all about money. This man of God has spoken and we won't delay this. Government on vehicles is 50 to 55 percent. If you bring in a mattress, mattress is 100 percent before the storm. Can you imagine that? 100 percent you had to pay on mattress. Close was 45%. Wow. Wow. Uh, you can't feel comfortable. And I'm telling you, when we had to pay some of those things, boy, that hurt me. You know why? Wow. Because I said, God, how can I pay 100% on, mm. on, 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 on a mattress? 40% wow. on furniture. 45% on clothes. 55% on a vehicle. You only ask for 10, and most of the, the folks struggle with that. Wow, yes. 12% bad. We pay that without blinking now. Mm. It's automatic. You buy your food, your grocery, 12%. You factor that in. Wow. Every purchase, 12%. God only asks you for one ten percent once a week. Mm. You pay 12% every time you buy. Oh Come on, help us up, buddy. Mm. Amen. We don't think about it. Oh, but the Lord wants to bless us. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we cry, government, government. Did you get anything yet? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But we want the blessings of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So come let me get my part. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Left. Everyone put their left and right hand in. Yes. Amen. You can put anything. Amen. Everyone got a chance to give. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, amen. Bring that here, man of God. Hallelujah. I don't know how we're going to do that. Amen. Stretch your hand to want to see you. Pastor, just pray for that. Hallelujah. Pray for that offering. Father, we give you thanks and praise for your divine presence. Yes, thank you. Heavenly Father, I pray a special blessing upon this offering. God, I pray 100% increase. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. With that here, bring it in. Just count that quickly. Go in the back and count that. Let's see how much we are. I want to challenge all of you as we are praying. This man of God, I want to close out on this and let you go and fellowship with your family. Thank you all for coming. Just wave at each other. Amen. Just wave at each other. Amen. We love you. Just shout, I love you. I love, love you. you. I love you. Amen. We just love all of you, Amen. people of God. We really do. Amen. We want to give a special seed to this man of God. If you don't know, we are going to, hallelujah, to do a work. Just turn that down there, prophetess. We are going to do a work, and I want to challenge some of you listening and watching. Amen. I want to challenge some of you. Amen. Amen. We are on a kingdom mission. Amen. Hallelujah, and the people are ready. We will be traveling, amen, to Africa. Say Africa. 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 I wish all of you could have made it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But if you can't go, you can send your seed. Say, send your seed. Send your seed. Send your seed. I know we can do it. I'm going to challenge seed. some of you. Hallelujah. What am I going to do? I'm going to ask each one of you. Before this week is out, I'd say Friday the latest. I want to stretch each and every one of you. Uh, some of you could give 20, some of you could give 50, some of you could give 100. You're going to say, man of God, I cannot make it with you physically, but I'm going to give you something. What are we going to do with that? We're going to do two things. We're going to buy. Oh, if you want to go to this woman of God, hallelujah. Prophetess, get your money out. Amen. We'll be the first. We're going to give her some money. To buy some nice souvenirs, prophetess. Can we get some nice straw bags and some shirts and some other things? Amen. Uh, you put up your hand. You're one of them. I'll be the second. This is the first one. We're going to give them to some oh, pastors oh. we have. Amen. About 30, 40 pastors wow. there and their wives. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to get a true prophetess. How many can make Amen. a donation? Amen. Okay. Wave your hand. Amen. 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 Let's see how we're going to do this now. Each one of us, I want you women. Okay, you women. You buy for the pastor's wives. Pastor will buy for the man. Amen? All right. Amen. Amen. How can we do that? Amen? How can you do that? You can say, Pastor. Oh, I forgot you, man of God. How much is that? How much is that? How much? Okay, okay. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Okay, Pastor. You put that to water. Amen, man of God. We bless you with that. Amen. That's for the man of God. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's for the man Lord. of God. We're going to bless him with that. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> now the second gift is, we all, Pastor, you missed that. I know you hear me. The man of God is traveling to Africa. Amen. Amen. Hey, with us. Amen. We're going to South Africa. We're going to be there. And we're going to go into about four different cities. And uh, they're waiting. They're ready. Amen. We're wow. meeting some leaders from Johannesburg and Durban and Pretoria, okay. uh, Rodaport, amen. And they are excited, amen. They're ready and they are coming from eight different countries, amen. But Malawi and South Africa and Zimbabwe and Zambia, okay. who else? Botswana, I think. Um, hallelujah. Somebody want to come from Cameroon. Hallelujah. But all the Southern African states, they're coming. They're going to be with us. Amen. Mm. And so then, and in um, South Africa, Lord wrote upon, I think there are about 50 leaders and their ministries are going to be there. Amen. And this man of God will be sharing and preaching. Amen. And prophet, I wish y'all could have come. Oh, God, you can't come in. <laughs> huh? I doubt it. Man, come on. You like long trip. You like long trip. And it's a long trip. I wish y'all could have come. Get your passport ready. Amen. you all got to come. You're right. It's a long one. From Fort Lauderdale, we're going to stop in the Middle East. 16 hours flight straight. <laughs> I'm telling you. you. <laughs> My God, you go sleep, Not wake up, go sleep, wake up, go sleep, wake up, go sleep. Well, I'm telling you. Amen. And that's just stopping there. We'll be in Dubai or Abu Dhabi. And then from there, it's another eight hours, I think. Eight hours down to Johannesburg. Amen. And I'm telling you, it's hey, you go sleep, you go. It's almost 30 hours of travel. Yeah. 30 hours. 30 plus. 30 plus one way. And, and when you're going, yes. <laughs> now, the interesting about time travel, 
It's an amazing thing. When yeah. you are yeah. traveling across mm -hmm. to the eastern side of the world, you lose time. Right. Right. So when you leave here 10, you go in by 10 p.m., they're already in morning. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you get there, it's a day ahead. But when you come back, you gain your day. Because as you're coming back, if you leave there 7 a.m., when you come back, it'll be 7 a.m. the previous day. Mm. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. So if you leave 7 a.m. from the east on the 10th, when you get back, it'll actually be about 10 a.m. on the 10th, eh? the same day, even though you travel almost 30 hours. It's interesting. <laughs> Amen. So what are we going to do? What am I saying that to do? I want to challenge you. That's a man of God money. I don't know. Prophet, there's how much we need to get for about $25, $30, $100, $200? Bring what y'all have been. Bring what you have. Okay. How can we do that? Let's, uh, how many you can get $50? Let's settle this. We can do that. Right. How many can get $50? $150, 50 one plus one, 50 How many? 50 Okay. Um, I can stretch you. Can I stretch you? Yeah. Two for, there you go. Praise the Lord. <laughs> How are we going to do that? Let's get that money by Monday or Tuesday. Let's get, we can give them that today. Y'all yeah, can do that. What we'll do is, nice, like, amen, that's mine right there. Come on, give that to prophetess. Do you have yours now? <laughs> Carrie, I know I need this. So let's do this. Let's do this now. Anyone who listening and watching on the pastor, give that to the woman of God right now. You have the own, so I, that's, we just need anyone else to listen. If you could put your eyes now or put anything toward it. Mm -hmm. Let me stretch it. Put something on it. Pay something down on it. How can they get to give to you? Huh? How can they give to you on oxygen? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, man of God. Okay, yeah, here you go. There you go. There you go. Now, give that to the woman of God. Now, pastor, you go and pick those stuff up by you. Tuesday, Wednesday, because we have the pack there. Those who are listening and watching, you want to give, hallelujah, contact us, let us know, let us know. Now, here's the thing. Any of you yeah. who know any other, we didn't do sponsorship, because right. we just believe God. Amen? Amen. Our tickets and everything are covered. Hotel, food, everything set. Amen? But if you want to give into this mission, and you know someone <laughs> working with you, you know a family member, if you want to get a sponsorship and say, hey, I'm going to raise something for the church to send on that mission. Why? What are we going to do? We're going to just bless those people. Amen? We're going to bless those churches. So if you want to do that, you go out there, get the money. Amen? Make sure to bring the money. If you want to bless the mission, please send, give us a call, contact us, 727-9990. That's my number. Or you can also... 727-9990. You pulling something in the spirit. I know you must have got some. Amen. Someone listening and watching could pay Amen. something big for the ministry. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Say glory. 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 Why are we doing this? Even though we have the these couple here, you know, they're building their house from water damage from the storm. Amen. We're doing some repairs and stuff as well. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you know, that's the best time to give. You know the Lord wants you to give in your time of need. Amen. Right. In the time of famine, what? Joseph sold. Yep. In the time of famine, the people of God sold and they reaped a tremendous reward. That's why we're doing this. Amen. Amen. You don't give when you when you when you have it, that ain't the best time. No, no. When God sees you had the woman with the might, she mm. gave all she had. The two pence, the two mites. Mm. The, day, the woman with the time of Elijah, she gave what? Her last oil. God thinks something very special. The alabaster box. The woman took one year's worth of salary in that one oil. My God. Broke it. And anoint the head and the feet and the body of Jesus. And Jesus said, this story will never be forgotten. So now we have, you don't know the cause. <laughs> My God. Of the oil. Sing it. In my alabaster box. That one act that woman did. We my sing God. the song to it today. That's true. But Jesus said what she did was so significant. Mm -hmm. The woman took the whole year's salary, bought that precious oil, and broke it on him and used it on his body without thinking about it. That's true. What am I saying? God is looking for some people who will break all they have. We ran in, we said, we're going to go. Why? Because there's a nation. We have our own nation, right? 
But we have a nation God is calling us to. Amen. 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 And not only that nation, eight other nations in the region. Amen. Yes. That's Coming. Right. That's right. Coming. Yes, sir. I was in the back there. They were calling Cameroon. We want to come. We want to be in that conference. Uh, um, Mozambique was calling to them just today while we're in the back there. Mm. said, I want to come. But please, no. what are we doing? We're going to help purchase their way to get there. Amen? That's oh, what we're Lord. doing. That's what you're going to say. This man is going to be, we're going to be live. So y'all better stream live. And now when we are live there, it's going to be early in the morning. So you don't have to get up on 2, 3 o'clock a.m. or just watch it on Facebook Live. Yes. Hallelujah. Please tune in. If you're not, tune in on our page so you could watch it. Amen. The next day. And you're going to see what God is doing. What is God doing? Taking people like us. Why? Because this man of God and what we have, I don't know why. God has put something special in and among us as a people of God. Amen. And sometimes your own nation don't understand it. Yeah. Yep. Yes, yeah, sir. Amen. Exactly. They, they think you. Yeah. Uh, uh, they don't understand what God is doing. Yeah. Well, and that's all right. But hey, mm -hmm. you who know and understand, hallelujah. But why? Because this gospel of the kingdom have been getting around the world. Yes. Amen. And God can use two little island boys. Amen, man of God. Amen. My God. And an yeah. island girl. Hallelujah. Shout glory. Glory uh -huh. to God. An island boy. God. Mm. <laughs> Take you 30 hours away <laughs> to tell the world mm. that Jesus saves mm -hmm. and he heals and he delivers yeah. and he can do it. Amen? That's right. Amen. Stand to your feet. I'm done. Yeah. So what am I challenging you to do? Again, thank you for all being here. Clap your hands and thank the Lord. Amen. Give the Lord blessings from Shalewa and I am Malik. Amen. Apostle Dean and the Prophet of Dean. Hallelujah. Pastor Kerry and his darling wife. Hallelujah Amen. to Kerry's and their beautiful needs. Amen. All of you listening and watching. Amen. What are we doing? The Lord has a miracle in your life. Say, Lord, has, the Lord has a miracle in my life. The Lord has a miracle. Say, I am. Oh, yeah. Has a miracle, has a miracle. miracle. for my life. For my life. You heard the word today. I'm not going to re-preach it. Amen. Yeah. I, if you could take that word today, you would run and accomplish everything this week. Amen. Yeah. No devil will be able to stop you, That's stand it. in your way, or hinder you. You know that the I am That's is right. with you and I. That's Amen. Right. He is the door. He is the way. He is the right. light. We just have to trust him. Amen? Yes. Amen. And you continue to pray for your families this week. Amen. Continue to pray. Pastor, Kerry, and all of us, there's enough of us uh, to pray this week. We just have a few days. I'm going to challenge us to fast and pray whatever day you yes, can. Yes, Take yes. a few hours out. Yes, that's that's right. breakfast. Amen. Go on to lunch. And we're going to pray oh, yeah. every day this yes. week. I want this week saturated with prayer. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Pastor... We'll take over from there. Just pray straight through. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'll give you more details in private. Hallelujah. Yes. And then I want you giving, giving, giving. Amen. Yes. Some of you, hallelujah. I saw a lady the other day. Friday, was it? We went in the store. She brought these school sponsorship. They always ask them for money. Amen. These schools always send in some fundraiser. I said, that's a good idea. So all of us, let's go out there. And let's raise some more money. How much we want to raise? If we could raise five hundred dollars, that'd be good. Why are you talking about money? Why? Because I'm gonna stretch us to give. Amen. 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 We have the items already to buy the things for the people. If you could go to your family, your loved one, whoever you know, what are we gonna do with that money? We're gonna use it. Amen. And when we get yes. there, we're gonna yes. bless a few of those pastors. Yes. Amen. If we could put fifty dollars in a few of their hands, Amen. That'll be ten pastors. Eh? Do you know the pastors work off of fifty dollars a month? Fifty dollars. Would we buy dinner with some of you in a big shot? What you say? Fifty. You gonna see it? Some of them is fifty dollars for them to travel from the surrounding country there. That's it. Amen. Fifty dollars or something. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Oh, the imbalance of the world. Mm -hmm. But we gotta help our brothers and sisters. Amen. Fifty dollars mm -hmm. will will be a sponsorship. You're going to say, Pastor, I want to sponsor a pastor. Mm -hmm. Yes, I pay my time. I often I send them a gift. Wow. I, I want to sponsor a pastor or a whole church. That pastor is going to sponsor a whole church. Then you go ahead and get it to us. And this apostle is here. Mm -hmm. We're going to make sure. Wow. We, and when we hit there, we're going to identify from whatever country. We're going to put that in their hand. And 
they're going to have something to take back to their church and be a blessing to that. Wow. Your seed is going to go to a different country yes, and bring a God. great harvest. Amen? Yes. Yeah. Father, we just thank you for this day. Bless this time and this fellowship and this service and the saints of God. Now may the blessing of the Lord God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest, remain, abide with us now, not only now, but henceforth and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Clap your hands unto the Lord. All you people, greet each other in the Lord. God bless you. Those who are watching live on, on Facebook, we say greetings to you in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. Amen. Thank you for fellowshipping with us. We look forward to hearing more from you in Jesus' name. Continue to be a blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you, I see you. I see you. All of you, we see you. We know you. God bless you. We love you. In the name of Jesus, join us. Hallelujah, as we continue to share. Amen. What you give to the Lord, give it in Jesus' name. What you give to the Lord, give it in Jesus' name. What you 